We sell ourselves every single day. We sell our friends, we sell our families, we sell others in our day-to-day -day lives. We obviously also sell our customers. If you sell anything online or ever plan to in the future, you'll use copywriting. Copywriting, for those of you that don't know, is basically the art of selling and persuasion in written form. Common examples of this might be email, landing pages for sales funnels, or even YouTube titles. And today, we're gonna identify three common copywriting mistakes you don't know you're making. All right, guys, welcome to the video. Straight to the point, we're gonna jump right in. No fluff, no add-ons, no wasted time. Just wasted about five seconds of your time right there. Gotta have a little bit of fun on spice it up and keep things interesting. Uh, but today we're gonna identify three copywriting mistakes that most entrepreneurs and business people just in general don't know that they're making. What are three common mistakes? We're gonna identify them here in a second and go into detail. So first and foremost, they talk about themselves or their business way too much. Ever hit a landing page or a website and it starts out like, at JP Morgan and Son, we manage loans for a living. We've been in business for 10 years and we've seen it all. You, you just lost the customer. The sad reality is the customer doesn't care about you and they don't care about your business. What does the customer care about? Well, they care about themselves. Use your copy to talk about the customer and how you can help solve their problems. Don't talk about yourself. That brings me to point number two, which is language. Now, most people, when they write copy, they use the wrong language. Don't talk in your language, talk in the potential customer's language. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at two examples really briefly right here, and we're gonna go back to the customer lawn care business, and we'll pretend that that's your business model. You take out an ad in the local paper, or maybe you run Facebook ads to you know a geolocation or something somewhere in close proximity to your business, whatever. We're not here to argue you know semantics or which ad works better for you know which business. I just want you to understand this crucial copywriting mistake. Here's two examples of a potential ad title. Number one, get rid of pesticides, herbicides, and enrich your grass overnight. Or number two, grow your grass twice as fast and keep it healthy. Which one is better? Well, the second one is clearly better. Why? Language. Speak in the customer's language, not your own. Use layman's terms and keep it simple and short. Now, you might think that a lot of things that you're talking about and referring to, like pesticides or herbicides, are common uses or common language or, or common sense essentially. But you have to remember that you might be the expert in that field and your potential customer might not see it that way. Okay, here's one more example that you might understand a little bit better. I'm an entrepreneur and I sell a lot of information products online that help other aspiring entrepreneurs make more money quicker. An example of an ad related title could be hack the Amazon algorithm, what Jeff Bezos told me. A better example of that ad title in layman's terms might be rank your Amazon product with this one easy secret. Why? Because not all people looking to purchase something Amazon related might understand that there's an algorithm or even know what that is. Some people might share, but most people that would potentially buy that product are new to Amazon. And the same goes for Jeff Bezos. Do most of the people that are watching probably understand or know who he is? Sure, but a lot probably don't too. Why fight an uphill battle? All right, moving on to number three now, and that is not using sentences or titles that leave the customer guessing or wanting more, or basically not leading. Don't tell them what they're going to get. Don't summarize. Don't tell them the overall gist, message, or subject. Don't answer the question. Instead, use a few simple words to pique their interest. You definitely want the title to be relevant, but you also want it to leave out the answer to the potential leading question. So going back to that last example, for instance, rank your Amazon product easiest with that one secret, that's going to make the customer think, okay, clearly this is about ranking Amazon products, but what's that one secret? What's the answer that I don't know? And there you have it, guys, three common copywriting mistakes you don't know you're making.